answer my line right there. Turn off! It's like basically it's got spy cameras. Yeah. I know it looks I look a couple, I look a bit weird. But also I guess on the flip side they'll probably remember you. It's like, well I said to someone the other day, I said, right, I'm off to go and find a man with a feather. Just, he's got a camera on his head, so yeah probably yeah I've seen him today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the other stuff to go and look at, wasn't it? Uh, the stuff that Andy Payne's lot were doing. Oh yeah. Because uh, he's got well I'll take the uh, Happy Nation and uh, all the um Mastertronic have got a load of stands here today, so you've got foul play down here, mm -hmm. which is just the most fun beat I've ever played. I can't That's even play it for long, so I've got 10 minutes, so I've got 10 minutes of going on. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's kind of. Um, the, the idea of the game is you're a. Uh, you used to fight monsters, but now you are just sort of reenacting the fights for audiences on stage. <laughs> So you've got to keep the audience behind you the whole time while you're fighting. Every time you get hit, the audience lose interest, and then they'll ask you to do certain things like you can't kill the main boss until the end of the fight. But yeah, this this is. Here uh, we go. Yeah, like, it's a proper button, actually, a real button. Oh, this looks like I, lo I love I'm loving the art style already. That's, that's pretty good. Um, Ransom, Ransom City. It's a good game, is it? It's really cheap as well. Sweet. Is it? <laughs> She's just been here on half, half an hour yeah. on an indie game. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about. Well, yeah, there is well, that. That's it. Why queue for seven hours for a game you're going to buy anyway when you can when play, you can play exactly? That's my point. Yeah, agreed. This does look like a lot of fun sometimes. Got that it's Ransom very, very City. Is it Ransom City, the well, old NES game? Yep, yep. And it reminds me of Castle feel. Crashes for, for the more up to date guys yeah. as well. Very yeah, it, it, for me, it has Golden Axe. It actually plays kind of for me more like Final Fight, but with more stuff going on. Yeah. Because you've got the graphics and you've got the prizes and stuff. We're liking that. It's a dead round, though. If you guys want to play, we've got a free station. Are you up for it? Oh, oh let's do it. Oh, yeah, and it's also. Supposedly supposed to be two players. Well, yeah. oh, there you go. So let's get on. Yeah, that's perfect. I know this is out now, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. We met some guys from Game Nerds at um, Impact. Do you have an American branch? You we do. Yeah. Yeah, I think we met some guys there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm the uh, media manager for GD, so. Uh, Hence yeah. the, well, the Fez is a sight in joke, and then obviously the cameras decide how to carry a proper thing, <laughs> so it's all right. How are you doing? So, are you, one of the, good, good. are you one of the devs yourselves then? Or? Yeah, that's right. So I did all the QA for this and helped find sheets of the combat and took the boss because I'm quite a small team, so it was a lot of fun to work with them. That's what I'm talking about. This is, yeah, our side scrolling beat up entirely within the Vaudevillian stage. Show, right. So, you don't have a life bar, but you want to keep the audience entertained with big moves, flashy combos, things like that. Setting you're seeing here, Baron Dashforth. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, well, so I'm just going to put that there. Baron Dashforth is a Victorian demonologist of some renown who, for unknown reasons, he's been very secretive his whole life. All of a sudden, he's been on this elaborate stage show recreating all his adventures from the stage. So, it's a bit Willy Wonka. He's had this mysterious life now, he wants to tell everyone all about it. No one knows why, but he's recreating it, brawls and all. So, <laughs> so it, it reminds me, it plays like Ransom City for me, and also like, um, it really does remind me of Final Fight. Yeah, we love the grappling. The, the grappling we love those there, old games. You need to go on the spotlight for a second. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm too busy uh, looking at you. Just yeah. switch around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 give you the hat. Top hat there. Yeah. yeah, you can tell we're hardcore like gamers. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to love the Final Flight. I've got a lot of time. Oh, yeah. I really love those games. We have uh, the discussions in the office about which of our, are our favourites of the old rules. Personally, for me, it's Streets of Rage 2. But I love yes. it. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. If I, if I golden I've got on my phone. I've got like, every format. Wow. Well, I think it's got to be done. Good old Mayor Hager, the best mayor slash wrestler. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say it's a loser. <laughs> if, if Boris Johnson was to start wrestling, <laughs> that I would like to see. <laughs> <laughs> some pre-production beforehand as we were like bouncing around concept ideas and stuff. But uh, yeah, about 18 months in total. It's not a bad development time actually, it's just a polished looking go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we have quite a small team as well, there about 10 of us at the height of the film. Oh right, I love the art style on this. Oh yeah, we've got the, uh, the lead artist Adam Walker, 
Yeah. Is actually getting a chance to come down and show the game tomorrow, which would be so nice because whenever we take the game out, people are like, I love the art, but him actually being able to hear that himself yeah. is going to be so nice. Yeah, so fun. Yeah, yeah. I've actually got a copy of this that I'm reviewing at the minute. Oh, so, yeah? Um, oh, cool. Are you going on the PC version or the Xbox? Xbox. Yeah, they're pretty similar at this point. He, uh, PC, you can remap the controls 100% on keyboard and that sort of thing, but content wise, they're exactly the same. They run pretty nicely on both. So. Probably, yeah, you, you'll know about the parry system, I'll just say for your benefit. Um, when enemies are about to attack you, you basically do white lines above their head. If at that point you press B, you get them in a counter grab, you can follow up with other buttons for special moves from there, so like chucking them across the stage. Like that. There you yeah, go. so that's, that's taking a nice little cue from Batman there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And um, we wanted to encourage co op play, so we've got a few little tricks like that. If you parry a guy at the same time with two guys, you get a team attack. Uh, if an enemy is thrown in your direction, you can click parry again to catch him in midair and chuck him back. Nice. So, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, can we, do have, again? we have oh, a big there love you go. for. Boom! <laughs> It's like you say, Final Fight, we have a lot of affection for those old brawlers, so we wanted to recreate that experience like sitting down with someone else and playing yeah. through, having that really fun co-op experience. I mean, it's online as well, but... Yeah. It's about being in the same room. Yeah, it is. If, if, you, if you press Y, you knock them up into the air and you can juggle them as well. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, you can jump after them with A as well, because air combos are quite effective. You can keep guys suspended, so... You can see why I like this, can't you? Yeah. This is a everything thing. retro in one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how far into the game are you at the moment? I'm only about two levels in because I, <laughs> this is quite sad. I've got tendonitis in my thumb, so after about 20 minutes oh, or so, I can't keep awful. doing that. Um, no, that's some, some people say button masters are a bad thing, but you see, you could play this for hours and just not know you've played it. Yeah, this because is it's just. You, you've still got to think about where your combos are coming from, you watch what's happening, but it's that sort of, I've come home from work, I've had a really long day, put the kids to bed, do I want to play a six hour RPG, or do I want to sit and beat shit up? I know. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is what we were striving for, because we wanted uh, that sort of button matching accessibility, so we just come in, match the buttons, get through the stage, enjoy the artwork, enjoy the story, but also we got the combos and the challenges to sort yeah. of uh, make it so that if you want to go high score chasing, you're going to be rewarded for it. Exactly. So we didn't want it to just be hollow button bashing, but we also wanted it to accommodate to both players, casual and people who are going to go through and unlock everything. So. But uh, if you're only a couple of levels in, you won't really have seen as much variety yet. Each uh, play in the game has five levels, except the finale, which reveals why the Baron's putting on this show in the first place. All right. But we have four plays and five acts, and each is a different chapter in the Baron's life. First, we've got the deserts of Cairo, where people have dug up a mummy. Uh, in the second play, it's sort of werewolves and vampires in the misty moors of Somerset. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The third is sort of an uh, expedition out to sea, and it all goes a bit Jules Verne, a thousand leagues under the sea. You've got mermen and the Victorian depictions of robots, uh, invisible so, uh, civilization. Yeah, exactly. retro inspired history as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, play four is one of my favourites because it's uh, all Big Ben and the rivers of London. What we've got is. Um, a cult has summoned the flame demon and started the Great Fire of London. So, <laughs> yes. well, what else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, play five. I can't talk about, but that's the big reveal for why the Barons put on this uh, big elaborate stage show in the first place. So, wraps up the narrative. Nice. Have to just play through it ourselves and find yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, hopefully, my. Uh, Mike's picking up, but when's the actual uh, game coming out? How it came out last week actually on Xbox Live Arcade and Steam. So, with Steam PC, we're currently working on Mac and Linux ports to try and get them out as soon as possible as well. So, it's you know, the PC version is working across all OS stuff, and uh, we're looking into PSN as well, but uh, nothing definite there yet. So, hopefully, we'll have some news on that soon. Oh, if our viewers want to actually find out some more, where, where, where can we go? So, if our viewers want to find out some more, where can we go? You want well, Twitter? What there's is the website? www.foulplaygame. There's a Foul Play Game on Twitter and Facebook for Foul Play as well. If you want to find out more about the company in general, we're Mediatonic. So look up our Twitter, or our website, everything like that. We love hearing from people who enjoy our games. We've gotten a huge kick at the moment in the office because games have been out a week. We're starting to get loads of Let's Play. 
videos from people, we like watching them in the office and hearing people's thoughts. So. Excellent stuff. Thanks for chatting to us.